Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new one just announced at SHOT Show 2018, the Hotson Flash in 22 caliber. So because this gun's called the Flash, we're going to do the world's fastest review today. Uh, all right, let's start at the muzzle. So, first off, you have the QE system, uh, fully moderated, should be very, very quiet with a fill port here, gauge on the underside of the stock with a Picatinny rail section where you can go ahead and mount a bipod, uh, 200 bar fill pressure, side bolt operated, two 12 round magazines in 22, look just like the knives of Bullmaster and Barrage, a Weaver slash 11 millimeter dovetail combo rail, skeletonized thumb hole stock at the back, quattro trigger should be very nice, got a 416 UTG scope on top, and let's go out the range by. Just kidding. So the Flash was announced at the 2018 SHOT Show. Uh, basically, Hotson's answer to the Umarex Gauntlet and the Diana Stormrider, a $300 PCP. Quite frankly, this was one of the guns that I was most excited to see because Hotson's going to bring you a powerful $300 gun as opposed to most of these 22s that are like 22, 23, 24 foot pounds. This is going to be a full bodied 22, I guess. You're talking about having 30 plus foot pounds at your disposal. What that's going to do to the shot count, of course, we're going to find out but let's go over some of the features of this flash. So starting at the front of the gun, we do have the QE system. So you have this kind of integral suppressor as well as a full shroud system. Should keep things pretty quiet, pretty backyard friendly for all you guys looking to do some backyard pesting or just general target shooting in the backyard. Uh, dropping down, we do have a, I believe it's about 165 cc air cylinder here. So a little bit smaller than most of the air cylinders on the hot sound guns, and it is fixed. You can't screw it off and replace it with a new bottle. Um, not a big deal to me. You do have your standard uh, fill probe here that comes with all of the hot sound guns, and it is threaded on the end to 1 8 BSPP, so you are going to need a quick disconnect fitting if that is what your fill system needs. Uh, and that just slides right into the fill port. Doesn't come with a dust cover. Hotson's usually really good about that. I'd like to see them include one, you know, just something to put in there when your fill probe isn't in the gun, um, but not the end of the world for me. Gun fills to 200 bar, which you can see on a gauge on the underside of the stock. You got some nice color coating there. Uh, so 200 bar, about 2,900 PSI. And talking about the stock here, it is full synthetic. Uh, it has a pretty good feel to it, uh, but it is gonna keep things very, very lightweight. This gun's coming in at six pounds. This is exactly what I've personally been wanting to see from Hotson for many years now. Uh, their guns, in my opinion, needed to go on a diet, and the Flash has been put on a diet. Uh, they introduced this guy to Jenny Craig, and he is a pleasure to deal with at six pounds. Um, very nice and pointable. The thumb hole skeletonized stock here is just really easy to get along with, in my opinion. Uh, it's going to fit most hand sizes without a problem. Uh, and just feels really good. Like it's a nice solid feeling gun that's not too heavy and not too bulky. And at 42 inches long, you're not gonna have a problem carrying this around with you. So another thing that is featured in this stock is a little Picatinny rail section here. If you did want to mount a bipod or something like that, uh, I love that. You know, just the ability to quickly mount a bipod is always nice in my opinion. Uh, on top of the breech, we have Hotson standard Weaver slash 11 millimeter dovetail scope rail, uh, which at this point is kind of, you know, it's their standard and it works. Uh, I prefer to use dovetail mounts on these rails just because sometimes the Picatinny Weaver sections are a little weird. Um, so we went ahead and mounted a UTG 4 to 16 by 50 scope here on top. Um, on the side of the action here, we do have a side bolt operated system, very similar to what we've seen on the gauntlet, um, but it kind of pops back on its own, not too hard to pull back and does go down into that slot. Uh, you got two 12 round magazines with these. These are the same as the mags on the Bullmaster and the Barrage. So you can just slide them in there and you're good to go. 12 pellets will do all 12 shot groups when we're out on the range for you guys. And the gun does also come with a single shot tray, which again, little value added features that are always nice. Um, so when you go ahead, you cock that back, you're going to go ahead. You don't have to drop it down when you're just loading the gun, uh, but you do when you're going to take the mag in and out uh, and you're just going to rock it forward and you're good to go. If you do want to decock the rifle, you just hold it back there there, pull the trigger, you hear it kind of pop and you're good to go and you're all safe. Uh, another big upgrade, kind of an upgrade, I guess, in my opinion, uh, that Hotson has been long needing is a non-automatic safety. So we do have a manual safety that's really conveniently placed for the right-handed shooters out there. You just flip that back, it's on safe, flip it forward, you're hot and ready to go. Uh, and the Quattro trigger. So this should be a very, very good trigger. Uh, may need a little adjusting out of the box for you 
but it is very adjustable. Uh, the Quattro is really nice. I think this one's breaking about three pounds. Doesn't have too much take up, which I like, uh, and comes to a fairly clean wall. So it's a nice little trigger uh, that you're gonna be able to get along with whether you're a hunter or a target shooter without a problem. So let's head out to the range and see what this flash can do. All right, guys, we tested pretty much every pellet we had at our disposal, probably somewhere in the 15, 16 uh, amount of pellets. Uh, that said, we narrowed it down to three in our pre-testing that did quite well. Um, the results were okay, you know, for most. So you got the Crossman Premier Domes, uh, which is a pretty affordable pellet. Uh, all 12 shots in these R12 shot groups. Uh, inch and a quarter for all 12. You cut out that shot right there, which was my first shot, so uh, probably a me problem there. Uh, and you got 11 shots in a one inch group, which is certainly not too bad out at 45 yards. Uh, moving it in, the Barracuda Powers, which is a very heavy pellet. You got a 21 grain pellet there. Gonna give you a lot of energy. Puts all 12 in about an inch and an eighth. And again, uh, 11 of those 12 are gonna be in a one inch group there, which is again, pretty solid, uh, but definitely the best. Those JSB 15.89s, uh, a five eighths group, 12 shots out of a $300 gun. High praise in the accuracy department for the Hots on Flash. So looking over these chronograph results with the Hots on Flash is kind of what I expected, especially with the 16 grain pellet. About 30 foot pounds of energy and that 20 shot average at 925 feet per second is definitely cruising along with a 16 grain pellet. Uh, it's producing good accuracy, but really if we're looking at the tightness of these velocities, you're talking about getting one mag so 12 shots, maybe 15 shots in a kind of a usable velocity range if you're shooting out to 50 yards or more. Uh, if you're using this gun for tighter ranges than that, not gonna see so much of a change. Uh, but really guys, you're buying a hot sound flash because you wanna do some serious hunting with it, not because you wanna be shooting all day in the backyard. Uh, this is gonna be the $300 gun that the serious hunter uh, is gonna be able to get behind and use effectively. All right, guys, so I gotta say, very impressed with the Hots on Flash. It's really everything I expected it to be. Uh, it's quiet, you got a solid trigger. Uh, it's not gonna require too much fiddling out of the box, and if it does, it's relatively easy to do. 12-round uh, magazine, so you get a few uh, more shots per mag for those of you guys that are hunting with this gun. Uh, reliable bolt-action system, and it's got good power. Uh, pushing a 16-grain pellet basically at 925 feet per second average over about 20 shots. Uh, this is going to be really good for you hunters out there. 30 foot-pounds of energy, a 5.8 group at 45 yards, absolutely phenomenal over 12 shots. Um, Got to see a dust cover in that. I'd really like Hotson to put that out there. Um, but overall, I really can't find too many gripes with this gun, if any at all. Uh, it's lightweight, which is a godsend from Hotson. Thank you very much. 
um, quiet, accurate. You got the multi-shot system. They did everything right with this $300 PCP. And if you're looking for more power, you got a 25 caliber option. If you're looking to do some target shooting exclusively, you got a 177 option as well. Whether you're just getting into PCPs or if you're looking for a gun to knock around with in the woods, the Hotson Flash is gonna be a really good choice for you. So definitely check it out next time you're on Pyramid Air. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Stick with us through 2018. There are a lot of cool new products we're gonna be taking a look at. I am very excited for all of the things that we're gonna be seeing in the 2018. Lots of cool new stuff coming your guys' way. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the video and what you guys wanna see next. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.